So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is your value and mass code at the side. And today we will be solving our first March POTD that is peak element. Okay. So without wasting any time, let look let us look at what the problem says. So the problem says that the input provides you with an array, and you have to find the element, the index of the peak element. Now, what is the peak element? Okay, the peak element is defined as suppose my element index is x. So it is saying that array of x should be greater than or equals to its adjacent elements that is x minus 1 and should be greater than or equals to array of x plus 1 okay for the boundary condition such as you are present here you have to only check the valid one like for 1 I will only check 2 for 4 I will only check 5 right okay another thing given to me is that suppose x is your peak element index then the array from x plus 1 up till n minus 1 indexes will be in decreasing order and the array from x minus 1 from 0 to x minus 1 will be in increasing order it is given to you in the question you may read it right now i have to find the element that is i have to find x okay so what can be the my approach to uh, proceed so my first approach can be approach one this is my brute force approach the brute force approach for this question is quite efficient uh, in itself it is of o and o of n time what i'm saying is do a linear search do a linear search how will you proceed with the linear search you start from here go up till here and find all the element find the element which which has this condition satisfying right you will find it in the worst case it will be present here otherwise it will be present somewhere else okay what is the time complexity for linear search o of n complexity space complexity is o of 1 right no problem i don't think it requires much of more time let us try to do the efficient rows that is uh, approach 2 which is binary search okay binary search why did i think of binary search in the first place because of this right i was given two sorted arrays given two sorted arrays right sorted and whenever i am given a sorted array i have to find something in an array i will most probably try to think of binary search to convert the time into logarithmic it will give me a logarithmic time that is o of log n logarithmic time o of log n okay so how will i proceed okay for the given array that is 1 2 4 5 4 let us find the answer on our own and then we will compare with our algorithm and then we will see if both match so you can see 1 is actually not greater than 2 so 1 cannot be one uh, the answer 2 is greater than 1 but less than 4 so it can also not be an answer 4 greater than 2 but less than 4 less than 5 not an answer 5 greater than 4 greater than 4 it is the answer 4 uh, less than 5 not an answer right so our uh, answer is this index that is 0 1 2 3 4 so our answer will be 3 any problem are you in the same page do you get why 5 is our answer correct answer all right so how will i solve it using binary search okay so my binary search first tells me to set the parameters low and high right i will do that so my low is actually 0 here, my high is actually n minus 1, that is uh, 4 in this case. Any problem? Any problem? Are you on the same page? Okay. So what do we do now? As usual, we will calculate our mid. So in the first iteration, our low is 0, our high is 4, and our mid will be 0 plus 4 by 2, that is 2, right? 2. So our element is 4 first condition we will check if it is a valid one like if it is a valid peak index we will return it automatically so for that what we will do is we will first check if it is uh, if the index is zero if mid is zero then check only for this inequality then if mid is zero and uh, arr of mid 
is greater than equals to ARR of mid plus one. Right. Second condition is to check if it is on n minus one. Then we will check only for the left one. If mid equals to equals to n minus one and array of mid is greater than equals to array of mid minus one. In that case, it on n minus one. In that case, it on zero. No problem up till now. These are the boundary cases. Okay. Third condition is if both of them fail that is use an else if here else if and to get these two conditions if it is not zero if it is not n minus one then it is lying in between and if it is lying in between these two conditions have to be validated so if array of mid is greater than equals to array of mid plus one and array of you can write the this condition again okay in that case also return mid okay moving forward now the main problem arises to adjust low or high what do we do in binary research which first check for mid if the mid is satisfying our condition right the proper algorithm says check for mid if mid is satisfying the condition otherwise update your low or high such that the answer lies in one of the halves update your low and high such that the answer lies in one of the halves okay so we are currently standing here are we in the same picture we are currently standing here we know that our answer is in the right half by seeing the example we do, but we don't know while using the binary search right how can i inculcate that the answer is in the right half okay so i say that i have been given that the left part is in increasing right part is decreasing i have been given that left part is increasing right part is decreasing i will use that well i will use that given part what i will say is i will compare this value with this value right I will compare four with two unless four is in uh, four is present on zero index, right? If four is present on the zero index, I will have to increment uh, my lower equals to mid plus one. I have no other choice. If four is present on n minus one, I will have to decrement four to the uh, high to the n minus one or uh, mid minus one. No other choice, right? But if I am in between, I will compare this value with this value. I will say that two is actually less than four. Yes, you are correct. Two is actually less than four. If two is actually less than four, then is it an increasing order? Yes, it is increasing. Yes, it is increasing. If it is an increasing order and the like p element is here and these all are increasing, we are currently standing somewhere here, right? We are currently standing somewhere here, and our answer is in the right half. This is easy to uh, visualize. X is here. That my answer is here. This is increasing. This is this part is increasing, so this part is lying somewhat before x in the left half. So I have to increment my low such that I try to find x in this half, that is my right half. So what I will do is I will do the same. I will say else if mid equals to equals to zero or array of mid minus one is actually less than equals to array of mid in that case what do we do we say our low is equals to equals to mid plus one right else only one case remains high equals to mid minus one that is what i'm saying is our x is here and we are currently standing here and we see that like this is our mid right we are currently here and we see that this element this element is not greater than this element let us say this is y so y element is not greater than is not greater than mid this is untrue oh this is true sorry this is untrue if y element is not greater than mid then it says that this is decreasing order right this is decreasing order and whenever i mentioned in decreasing order my answer will lie in the left half right so what i will do is here high equals to mid minus one and i will let the loop continue and then my function is finished because this condition will be either this condition or this condition or this condition will be run at least once the question mentions that okay so let us try to write the code for it i hope you are all familiar with this what you have to done okay so mid equals to 2 4 let us try run it 4 after that i will see that this condition is not satisfied for 4 and then i will move towards this condition i will see 
that 4 is actually greater than 2. So my low will go to mid plus 1 that is 3 and my high will remain 4. 3 plus 4 by 2 that is 7 by 2. What is the answer? 3.5. Integer division will give me 3. So I am now standing at 5. I will see that 5 is greater than 4, 5 is greater than 4 so my answer will turn uh, 3 as my answer index, right? I don't think any problem should occur but if still any problem persists, please, please, please mention in the comment section. I will surely get back to you. Okay, so let's try to code it down. In the meantime, in the meantime, please subscribe to my channel because it gives me a lot, lot, lot of motivation. Okay, so let's try, let's start writing the code. So what we do first base case is if my n is equals to equals to one in that case simply run zero uh, if only one element is present then it is already a peak element hold the boundary condition is satisfied right moving towards n is greater than equals to two in that case int low equals to zero high equals to n minus one no problem up till now right after that start the loop that while my low is actually less than equals to high now int mid equals to high plus sorry low plus high minus low by 2 right you can also use low plus high by 2 but I like to use low plus high minus high by low by 2 because to avoid the overflow of the uh, what do we say integer okay now my first binary condition is if mid equals to equals to 0 in this case I will have to check only the right part so in that case, ARR of mid should be greater than equals to ARR of mid plus one, right? In that case, return zero or mid. Mid is equal to zero in this case, right? Else if my mid is equal to equals to n minus one, that is the last element, and ARR of mid is greater than equals to ARR of mid minus one. In that case, return n minus 1. No problem till now. Else, if both of the boundary conditions are satisfied, uh, not satisfied, in this case, if array of mid uh, is greater than equals to array of mid minus 1 and array of mid is greater than equals to array of mid plus 1, in that case, return mid right are we on the same page are we on the same page this is just taking the mid now we have to move towards solving part that is uh, changing the low or changing the high so i will just use a simple else and i will say if my mid is equals to equals to zero and my arr of mid minus one sorry my mid is greater than zero if i'm in the right uh, if i have and tendency to go to the uh, left part if my ARR of mid minus 1 is greater than ARR of mid in that case I am in the decreasing part and if I am in the decreasing part I have to move towards my lower part that is high will change to mid minus 1 if this condition fails I am only left with one condition that is low equals to mid plus 1 right I don't have to write anything after the while loop because this statement this statement or this statement that is returning statements will be executed at least once right okay so let us try to compile and run it hope it not gives an error in the meantime please subscribe to my channel guys i cannot stress more on that you can see it is running fine let's try for submit also and do 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 give me a subscription guys please you can see our answer is correct our code is correct hope you like the video hope you are able to understand what is saying because binary research believe me guys is an important task to solve during the interviews or during the OS. So if you have any doubts, please engage with me in the comment section and do not go before subscribing and liking the video. We'll meet tomorrow with a new question and a new energy. Till then, keep coding. Have a nice day. Thank you.